What's up guys? It's Jake here. Welcome back to another reaction video. It's Christmas Eve. It's actually Christmas Eve. I can't believe it. It is officially 8.12am on Thursday the 24th of December. And I'm sitting here with one mission and one mission only for the day. And that is to finish the Top 100 series. We've got 18 players to go. I started at 45 yesterday. I got down to 30. I thought, you know what, that's it. Went to the gym, came home, got another 12 done. I was surprised. I was even surprised at myself, honestly. But I've woken up this morning with an achievable goal in front of us. And an enjoyable goal, I'm not going to lie. You know, I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't having fun. So seeing as this player at number 18 on the list is none other than the tight end for the Chiefs, Travis Kelsey, I'm going to pour my first cup of real coffee and I'm going to get changed because I look far too pale right now. And I'm going to see you back here to check him out. It's 3 minutes and 8 seconds long. It's got 294,092 views. It was brought out on July 29th, 2020. He's number 18 on the list. We're in the teens, guys. We're in the teens. Every single player that comes after this is going to be an absolute superstar. And I can't wait to watch. So I'll see you back here shortly. Now, I've got to be honest, guys. It is fucking hot in this room right now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know why. I think I'm a little bit nervous, to be fair. I feel like I'm, I'm an excited type of nervous because we actually have the possibility of finishing this list today. You know what? I, 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 I'm not digging the Harry Potter look. I'll be back. Okay. Here we go. The final stretch. The final piece of the puzzle. I couldn't even tell you when I did the first one of this, this series. It was probably a good two months ago. Two months. Two months! This series has been on my mind every single day. And there's a quote that I have no idea where I got it from, but it is effective and it is true. Look, if something is on your mind every single day, if, you're not, if you can't forget about something, and if it's on your mind every single day, you have to do it. You simply have to. It's, it's, it's mental torture for you not to do that. For you not to get that thing done. Or at the very least, for you not to try. And that's exactly what I've been doing. So guys, one and all, I want to say welcome to Queenstown, New Zealand. This is where I'm living right now. I did three and a half weeks, sorry, two and a half weeks in a van. Uh, you guys would have seen those vlogs. It was extremely enjoyable. I learned a lot. I grew a lot. But now I'm living in a nice place. And at the end of the day, you've got to do what makes you happy. And right now, what makes me the most happy is to have a look at Travis Kelsey. Let's go. Oh, that's sick, bro. Is that his dad? I thought it was the coach, but it's Papa Kelsey. Your life never ever really got the recognition you deserve. I'm assuming that was after the Super Bowl. What a moment that would have been. to the University of Cincinnati, but I was like a two-star. Never got enough credit for it. Oh, the, 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 the music, guys. We haven't had music. We haven't had backing music. We certainly haven't had, haven't had backing piano music like that. Shit, that just hit me in some kind of way. The type of athlete we were, and I mean, when I look in my father's eyes, man, I know that I made him proud. And, uh, you know, <laughs> as a son with a father that loves him and believes in him that much, man, that's the world. It really is, man. You can't leave me, big guy. Love you, man. Thanks for all his belief in me, big guy. Yeah, my life's right. It's hard to imagine there was a time anyone had doubts about Travis Kelsey. Oh, man, that was good, man. Fuck, that hit me, bad. <laughs> oh, goddamn. That hit me, man. Because. The relationship between me and my dad is, is not where it could or should be. You know, the older I get, the more questions I ask, the more mature questions I ask my dad. And I, I get to know the reasons why, you know, he hasn't been that loving. And it's because he was never brought up that way. And a lot of people that were born in the mid-50s, 60s, they just weren't brought up with kissing and hugging and telling people you love them. You know, it, 
being able to convey your emotions. It just wasn't the case and my dad has not changed. I have. So it's extremely hard for us to talk and I've always, you know, I've always just wanted that one moment where I achieve something great. And he tells me he's proud of me, man. You know? He is proud of me, but he doesn't tell me very often, that's all. Anyways, guys, this is not about me. And this is the first tear I've shed in this whole entire series. Let's go. Because today, it's hard to find a tight end more respected by his peers. Who is the best player in your position in the league? So, uh, I, I gotta go with, with T. Kels, you know? Travis. Travis Kelsey and George Kittle have got to be both up there. I don't know where George Kittle fell, but you know, he was he was the tight end on the opposite side of the ball in the Super Bowl, right? So it was like Kelsey against against Kittle, that top tight end spot. And I guess since we haven't seen George Kittle yet, he must have he must have come out on top. Day in, day out, week to week, he makes the craziest plays. Look at the body control. Those are receiver type skills from a tight end. Kelsey over the shoulder. He would have got an absolutely ridiculous amount of catches, ridiculous amount of targets, ridiculous amount of yards. He probably got a thousand. Uh, he probably got a thousand receiving yards, but I couldn't be sure. Traffic touchdown! I think Travis is on top of the league in tight ends, just because you know he's a very tactical route runner. His nuances throughout the game, just knowing what to do in certain situations. Kelsey, because if I need to go two more yards, I will. If I need to go one less. He's got the size, obviously. Perfect, perfect tight end. I mean, if a tight end is is any, well, if a tight end is any shorter than six foot four, they are undersized. And just to make sure that I didn't just put my foot in it, let's confirm. He's six foot five, two hundred and sixty pounds. And when I see six foot five, I instantly think of Joe Nalomu. Joe Nalomu was two hundred and sixty-five pounds and ran a 10.5 second hundred. Um, Travis Kelsey ran a 461. But if we just look at his stats, he played three years at Cincinnati. In his first year, he played 11 games, got one reception for three yards in 2009. And here we are, 10 years later in 2019, and he is the 18th best player in the NFL. This, his first year at college, he got one reception. It's not that way anymore, is it? 461. 35 inches on the vertical, 10 foot 4 on the broad jump, 22 reps on the bench press. Kelsey was drafted by the Chiefs in the third round of the 2013 draft for the 63rd pick. The Chiefs had hired Andy Reid as the new head coach during the offseason. Reid was familiar with Kelsey after he had drafted and coached his brother Jason during his time as the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. On June 6, 2013, the Chiefs signed him to a four-year, $3.12 million rookie contract. And if we go down a couple of years, on January 29th, 2016, he signed a five-year, $46 million contract extension. He was ranked 91st in that year by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2016. He came in at 26th on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2017. He came in at 24th on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2018. And last year, uh, why is it not telling me? Right, I'm gonna have to take this into my own hands. Kelsey, top 100, 2019. Number 21 in the top 100 players of 2019. Not bad at all. So he went 91st in 2016, 26th in 2017, 24th in 2018, 21st in 2019, and 18th in 2020. Now that is not a bad trajectory. Setting him up for a top 10 finish next year, I'd say. This is it right here. This is where we dig deep. We dig deep, we make plays, it's this one right here. In the divisional playoffs, the first tight end in history with four straight thousand yard seasons sparked an epic comeback. Well, I didn't look at that, but I did say that I guaranteed he'd have a thousand yards last year. And that he did. Not only one year, but four years. Yeah, Andy John, no. give me more, give me more. Kelsey finished with 10 catches for 134 yards and three scores. See, and he's been with Andy Reid the whole entire time, right? So that coach would have seen him from, from his rookie season to becoming a Super Bowl champion. That guy right there. After another 
comeback win the following week, Kelsey was headed to his first Super Bowl and taking some A-list fans along for the ride. In Super Bowl 54, the tight end who once fought for recognition. Mm. Shivers, bro. The tight end whose father always believed in him. Look at that. Made sure he would long be remembered. <laughs> yes, boy. Too easy. Myself. Yep. Complete and utter respect I have for Travis Kelsey. Let me just confirm what his statistics have been. Came into the league in his rookie season, played one game but got no statistics. Second year, 2014, played all 16 games. 67 receptions for 862 yards, 5 touchdowns, 4 fumbles, 3 of which were lost. 2015, played 16 games again, 875 yards. Five touchdowns, two fumbles, two were lost. 2016, played 16 games again. This is when he broke 1,000 yards for the first time, 1,125. He got four touchdowns, no fumble. 2017, played 15 games, 1,083 yards, eight touchdowns, no fumbles. 2018, 16 games, 103 receptions for 1,336 yards, which is a career high. Got 10 touchdowns which is a career high, but he's already matched that this year. And I haven't even seen what he's done this year. This is about 2019. So the season that this video is about, he got 16 games, 16 games started, 97 receptions for 1,229 yards, 12.7 yards per attempt, a longest of 47 and five receiving touchdowns. He had one rush for four yards and a touchdown. I wouldn't mind seeing that. One fumble and that fumble was lost. So, in 2020, so far, through 14 games, he's got 1,318 yards, which is only 18 shy of his season record. So he's most likely going to break that. He's got 10 touchdowns this year, which is equaling his season record. He's most likely going to break that. And with that in mind, guys, with two games to go of the season, I reckon Travis Kelsey is currently stamping a top 10 spot in that top 100 players of 2021. And for that, I want to say congratulations. But with all that being said, guys, in the next video, uh, we, we're going to be looking at a 49ers player. His name's Nick Bosa. We've seen his brother, Joey Bosa. If there's one thing I want to know about Nick Bosa, it's what does he actually sound like? Because if he sounds anything like his brother, it's going to be very noticeable. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button. We've got 17 more to go. The time is 8.30 in the morning on Christmas Eve. And I want to say Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great year. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.